So Windows probably won't have the drivers to see the disk from the hypervisor. So we'll download the drivers now and we can import these later during the install process. I'm going to go ahead and create the virtual machine. Uh, I'm going to give it CPU, memory, configure a couple settings here, uh, delay the boot until the VNC connects. Um, that'll prevent some issues when you try to open the VNC. And then next we'll give it, so we'll give it one CPU here, and we'll just keep the bare minimum, and we'll give it some storage. Um, you choose the vert IO, and then choose your location, give it a size. Then here we're going to mount the Windows installation media. And we'll do Windows there. So here I'm going to add, I'm going to add another CD-ROM. Um, what I'm going to do with the CD-ROM is mount the drivers for the drivers that I previously downloaded in the beginning of this video for Vert.io. Okay, so now I've got that added. I'm going to go ahead and begin the install for Windows now. So we'll just, most of this is going to be pretty self explanatory if you've ever installed Windows before, so I won't narrate each step. Okay, so here, choose your version. I've got Windows 10 Pro. I'm going to choose custom install here. And you see there's no disk here. So we we'll refresh and there's nothing there. So I'm going to need to load the driver that was previously downloaded. I'm going to choose Windows 10 for the driver. And now you'll see that there's the drive that shows up. So go ahead and hit next. And the, the install is going to continue on its own. There will be a couple of reboots here and there. Um, I also ran into an issue with VNC where it disconnects. So basically kind of the workaround that I did there was I'll just give the install um, a little bit of time to set, and then I had to come back and reboot the VM in order to get back into the VNC for some reason. Okay, so Windows is booted up now. 
but the issue is there's no uh, network drivers. So just like with the other, just like with the drivers for the storage when we were doing, when I was doing the install, um, we have to do the same thing for the network drivers. So to start, we're going to go, I'm going to go into the control panel here. Change this view. We're going to go to the network center. We're going to go to the adapter settings and see there's no network adapter here. So go ahead to the device manager. And once in the device manager, locate the controller here. Update the driver. And now we're going to, I'm going to browse to the driver that, the same driver that was used for the storage drivers, the ISO. And it should automatically find it here and install them. And there it is. So now it's connected to the network, has internet access. There's an IP signed DHCP and Cloudflare's DNS server, Google, and that's it. So the install is complete here. Uh, I hope this helped you, and if you have any comments or anything, be sure to leave them below. Any questions, uh, any, anything you see here, just let me know. Thanks for watching.